three championship in uh, one year. A little bit lighter, um, a little bit easier to maintain. You can stick. Okay, so now we are here with Jairus from BRK Brocock. Uh, we've seen this beautiful uh, rifle, which is the Brocock Sniper with a laminated stock. Now, Jared, could you tell us a little bit about the brand Brocock? Because Definitely. it's part of Daystate. It is. Daystate is the parent company, so Brocock would be a sister company. They're owned by the same company at the end of the day, so yeah. the quality, the you know, accuracy, everything yeah. that Daystate has grown a reputation yeah. for, Brocock will inherently have it as well, yeah. without a doubt. Because they both are made in the UK with the same parts, so all the, the parts from the Brocock are basically F of Daystate parts. Yes, they come out of the same machines and it's all European made. There's nothing imported or yeah. done that's not out of Europe on these. So they're all overbuilt. The, the build quality is off the charts yeah. on any of the Brocock Daystate. Quality check. Yeah. Quality checks yeah. are, yeah. It, yeah. It's a gun you do not have to worry about. It's very well built. I can imagine, but these ones are a little bit lower price than the Daystate models because they probably they, they do the electronic triggers yes. and that sort of stuff. Correct. So this is more a mechanic rifle? Purely mechanical yeah. rifle. So it's a little bit more, I don't know if you want to call it old technology, yeah. <laughs> but electronics is new technology. So this one, it's a little bit more original. Original, yeah. yeah, yeah. And this is a regulated air rifle. I can see that there was a, a Yuma regulator in there. So yes. Dutch. Puma hey. regulators come standard in all the Brocock and Bay State. They've yeah. been the only company that OEMs Puma regulators. They've yeah. been doing it for probably four or five years now. Four or five years. So yeah. they've they've had a great relationship with Huma. Yeah. Their regulators work great, and you get one right out of the box when you buy a Brocock. That's cool. So you don't need to add that later on, exactly. like with some some rifles, of course. Save yeah. yourself that step <laughs> yeah. right at the front. Absolutely. Yeah. Maximum fill pressure probably 250 bar if I take a look at the bottle then. Correct. Yeah, and this is a 480 cc. Correct. How many good shots, if you would have this rifle in 22 without any restrictions, because in the Netherlands we don't have power restrictions right. and in the UK they right. probably have the 12 foot pound they do. thing. Um, we would have this rifle in 40 joules in 5.5. How many shots would you do average? Probably 100. 100 shots. It's very efficient. Wow. Very yeah. efficient. Even at the 40 joules, or I'm American, so I think 30 foot pounds. 30 foot pounds, yeah, yeah, it <laughs> but is. Yes, yeah. you'll get, you'll get, gosh, I think I'm being conservative there, but 80 to 100 without a doubt. 80 to you 100. You may get even yeah. more. They offer a longer version with the longer barrel, too, that they call the Magnum. All right. So you can get a 23 inch barrel, same setup. That one gets about 60 shots per fill. All right, yeah. Well, I think this is quite an interesting model because it, it, it's, it's quite. Uh, well balanced, lightweight. Well balanced. How, how, how many does it? How? It's about seven pounds, seven pounds without a scope. Yeah, well, but it feels quite lightweight, but it is a sturdy rifle and yeah, quite it's compact, one of the most well balanced. Like you said, balanced yeah. and offhand shooting. Yeah, that's one of our favorites for. There's a shroud on the barrel. Is there a um, half you have thread beneath there? It yes. is. All mm -hmm. right, so you could mount an extra silencer. Yep. And the magazines, they. Um, Comes standard with one magazine, I presume. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, made out of metal. Yes. Yeah. It's a uh, self index, and you pull it out. It's a very well, it's almost like a piece of jewelry, in all honesty. Um, so it's got this flip open face here. Oh, wow. Everything yeah. snaps in magnetically, and then you rotate the drum, fill it up, and then as the bolt comes in and out, it actuates it. it. But as you can see, it's it. very high end wow. quality and well, I'd say is, this is one of the better magazines we uh, we see on air rifles. And it's different. Metal. It's not like the, everyone else's that has the point and the yeah, clear correct. plastic. The piece. clear plastic you would have to take off or wind it. But this Day is uh, and Brocock easy. both pride themselves in doing things their yeah. own way, not going after what a, it's simple, but doing what is best. Yeah, this is really cool. Yeah. This is really cool. Well, interesting air rifle. Um, yeah, we will be selling it. Is it on the market already, this model? It, it is. is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm not really sure if the Dutch distributor has it already, but um, when he does, we will have it as well. And uh, well, thanks a lot, Jerry. Yeah, good talking right. with you. Yeah, it was.